Hi everyone, I'm Sebastián Pérez, developer relations in Open Zeppelin, and today I'm excited to introduce Uniswap V4. This new version has a lot of interesting innovations, as for example the singleton architecture that reduces gas cost and also the hooks that let developers to add customization. I will also explain how Open Zeppelin plans to support developers in building on top of its features. Let's get started. The first feature that I will introduce is the singleton architecture. In Uniswap v3, each pool has its own contract. So you have a lot of deployments there, and as a result, you have a high gas cost. Uniswap v4 changes this approach, having one pool manager that handles all of the pools in a single contract. This change that eliminates the need for having separated contracts for the pools reduces the gas cost by up to 99%. Additionally, the swaps don't need to transfer tokens between different contracts anymore because they are handled in the same contract, making the operations faster and more efficient. The second feature that I'm going to introduce, and maybe the most important, are the hooks that are the real game changer. The hooks are functions that are executed before and after key operations allowing developers to add custom logic to different stages of the pool lifecycle. This means that you can execute code, for example, before the pool initialization or after the pool initialization, before a swap or after a swap, before adding or removing liquidity, after or before a donation. Using hooks, the developers can implement advanced use cases as, for example, dynamic fees or custom curves unlocking a world of new possibilities for DeFi innovation. The Flash Accounting is another major upgrade. This system optimizes multi-swap operations, updating just the net balances, called deltas, instead of making a transaction after each step. So, at the end of the process, there will be just one update, synchronizing the balances with the assets, and avoiding having multiple transfer after each step and then reducing a lot the gas usage. Uniswap before also uses the RC6909 standard handling multiple tokens in one single contract. How it works? Well, after completing an operation that involves an RC20, you can choose to leave your tokens there in the pool and an RC6909 token will be mint representing that claim. So, the next time that you need to interact with a, with a pool again, or maybe you want to redeem the tokens, you don't have to transfer the asset again. You just burn the ERC6909 token that was minted in the previous step, avoiding having that external contract call and then using the internal storage and reducing the gas cost of the whole operation. And finally, the native token support. Say goodbye to wrapping and unwrapping tokens like WETH because Uniswap before make it easier handling the native tokens as, for example, Ether. Uniswap before combines speed, cost efficiency, and customization all within one ecosystem. To make Uniswap before even more accessible and secure, Open Zeppelin received a grant from the Uniswap Foundation to create a hooks library that will simplify the creation of these advanced use cases. For example, custom fee structures, dynamic curves, impermanent loss hedging, and loss versus rebalancing minimization. And it will also improve the developer experience, introducing a wizard-style interface that will also help to combine different hooks in the same implementation. If you want to learn more about this, check out the links in the description. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or ideas, just drop them in the comments. See you in the next video.